Hi, this is Gage Relic from Northern Camp Prairie in Moose Horn, Manitoba. We just wanted to do a full walkthrough and overview of our Dyna Products SC12 XP. We bought this machine in the fall of 2014. Uh, my wife and I went down to Duluth, Minnesota. We picked it up, we brought it back across the border. Uh, so we'll just kind of do a walkthrough. We've ran it for six years, so we put lots of cords through it, done a lot, lots of different types of wood. We've been happy with it. It's been a good machine, but. Um, the main uh, one big drawback here is the splitting wedge. It's a fixed splitting wedge, whereas with the bigger models, you have an adjustable wedge. So see when we do this big log, it can't go up and down. So um, that's not good when you're doing bundled wood. Uh, your pieces end up being too big. Uh, with the bigger models too, you can have a automatic. Um, this way you have to always do, you're pulling it by hand. It's very repetitive, like when you're doing a few hundred cords a year, it would be nicer to have, now they have a new model. It's just on a joystick, electric over hydraulic. This was a option, the hydraulic clam. I would never buy one without one. You, you need that. I would never even think of buying one without that. Other than that, uh, this is the log cable here. That's been really good. We'll show you how it folds down and then you can pick up the logs like if you don't have a machine or anything to load, it works really nice. Uh, this is an entry level machine, so it's uh, meant for smaller time operators. Uh, everything's kind of built heavy duty. It was two Amish brothers who started the company, so uh, they're really well built machines, strong, good quality, and they're even bringing more kind of like automotive practices into their uh, manufacturing, so very high, high quality. But here, another thing we added, we, we live on a lot of gravel. The gravel beats up this fuel tank. It had a crack in it, so you'll want to protect your fuel tank if you're um, going on gravel roads. It has a Honda motor, so you have the Honda warranty. It's really good. It's uh, The Honda motor's been uh, very good for us. You got your hydraulic, hydraulic oil tank, your chain, um, chain oil. Pretty simple. We change the hydraulic oil once a year. We change our hydraulic oil. That's pretty straightforward standard. We got our 404, this one can come show the bar. It's a 404 pitch bar, 18, 404 chain, 18 inch bar. It works nice. It's good. You got a 10 foot conveyor. The conveyor is a little bit short, like on the bigger models, you got that 14 foot option. That's a lot nicer, but uh, it does the job. You can at least get it done. Like I said, we've done lots of wood with this, so. Um, if we missed anything, you could comment or we could reply any, uh, any questions you have. We'll fire up the machine here and, uh, we'll run a couple logs through it, kind of show you how it, show it how it works. So, a like Honda, it's pretty easy starting. If it's more minus five, minus 10, we'll put a little electric heater on it, uh, just to kind of warm up the oil and warm up the seals. But, uh, it's pretty good starting this machine.
do lots of custom processing jobs like we'll go over to neighbors places and do four boards six boards you know for people who some some people do their own logging some people will buy the wood so this uh, processor is very easily transportable so you just fold these up you can lift them up and the pins go in you pin it it goes on the road it's uh, quite simple like that we do lots of mobile uh, custom processing and when Simone and I went uh, to look at this machine in uh, early of 2014 we went to Northern Ontario we met a guy uh, went out there he had a machine probably from 2012 and there was uh, like they didn't have the safety chain on here they only had the winch so Dyna had done a lot of upgrades just in two years and now this uh, SC 12 XP has a lot more upgrades than it does now it is a lot more expensive than when we bought it but they've done a lot of upgrades uh, from when we had it but with six years of ownership we've only phoned them three times we only had three uh, little problems, nothing nothing big with them. We replaced a few bearings, stuff like that, and uh, simple little things, but we got that at the, a local hardware store, not no specialty parts, so. We've been really happy with it. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything else, but like I said, you can say in the comments and we could uh, answer any questions, so. Thank you and have a good day.